All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day here, another video, but guess what it is? It's storage unit day. I went ahead and probably bought the biggest unit of my life uh, just now online for exactly $100. Kind of around the holidays, so I think I got a good deal on this, but if you're ever curious about what's inside a storage unit, this is probably the biggest unit and the most packed unit I've ever bought. 100 bucks. Let's see what's inside this storage unit. Let's see if we scored big. All right, so fortunately, I bought a unit, surprisingly not out here, even though online it doesn't say, but there is a major highway right over here, and it is so loud, I can't tell you. Um, so my unit is inside these doors, and I got help. Renee is helping today, <laughs> but we're in here. Now let's uh, let's see how this beauty shapes out. So here she is. Now I'm gonna get the tripod, set it all up, do the normal thing. There is no. All right. Kind of nervous. Wow. Packed. All right, so I paid a hundred dollars for this. There's garbage bags. There's a Texas instrument thing. Oh, it's a home computer. Old couch kitchen. Old couch. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, I really hope that couch isn't back there. Because I already have a mattress I gotta work with. Which, to me, it looks like, oh, it's smaller than I thought. I thought it was a king mattress. It does have these black things on, which I'm really hoping. No, that's rat, or that's mouse poop. As long as not bed bugs, I'm happy with it. Yeah, rug looks pretty nice. Wow, this is like three trips. I thought, I thought it'd be two trips. It's yeah. not. <laughs> you just got to stack, stack well. Stack well, my favorite specialty. Oh wow, we got uh, money. Oh. That's kind of nice. All right, well, I'll get the old tripod out and we'll go through some of this stuff. Uh, on her channel, she's going to do a couple of these boxes because, well, this video is going to be five hours long if I do everything. So, yeah. Jump into it, I guess. Oh, got to focus. So I won't bore you guys too much with, like, the mattress, which has got some lovely stains on it. Um, but I just wanted to show you how large this unit is because we just took it down. And you cannot see whatever was back there from the poster. And by poster, I mean picture. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm very, very excited. And yeah, uh, try to get rid of a lot of this bulk here. I kind of want to show off this rug, but we haven't got there yet. Uh, and I haven't even looked at it, but that looks like a couch. And I'm wondering if there's a couch in here. Who knows? We'll see. Texas Instrument up there, maybe older stuff, computer stuff, video games, who knows? All right, just went ahead and moved this uh, rug. It looks like we might have our first beauty right there. What's the probability of that thing being in there? We don't know, but I think in this video I'll show that. I think that's uh, it's an HO thing, so it's got to be train related. All right, so like I said, you're going to have to check out her channel for some of this stuff. Uh, we just found this really, really cool Harley. A little like a doorstop, or not doorstop, a uh, doormat. That thing is a beaut. And a little throw here, so maybe there's some old Harley stuff in here. Got a nice... Oh, mystery bag right here. I've seen what appears to be like a little quilt thing popping out. We have one. Oh, man, this stuff has been here a while. This almost looks like... It's kind of like a... Uh, oh, wow, it's old. Look at the inside on that. It's kind of torn up. It's still salvageable in a way. We have what looks like another... I don't know, a comforter of some sort, bedding. It looks fairly old to me. Oh, it's not really even show up, but there's a nice uh, yellow patina to it and not like yellow patina in terms of dirty, more in terms of uh, of age. 
When you got a couple pieces here, that will go either to the local animal shelter or I'll bring that for the flea market. Uh, we will determine that in a future time. So pull the side two of these chair. Yeah, you can see them. Two chairs. Um, probably one of the hottest items, 2020. Guys love these dumbbells. They're heavy like dumbbells, but I don't even know if they're in there. But yeah, exercise equipment last year. Wow, they are. Dumbbells, pink dumbbells. If you need any dumbbells, you got a set here. It's probably going into a flea market. Don't know what these things are retail, but I imagine the resale value on them is still very competitive. So not bad, some dumbbells. You buy this whole unit, you get some dumbbells. Feel dumb by yourself. Is what appears all those boxes back there go all the way to the ground. So that's always a plus. So it's like a sleeping bag. Not bad. Over here? Yeah. Um. <coughs> pair of Levi's. Loose straight. Won't fit me. Too bad they're not vintage. I don't know, I thought it might be missing the top. Tripod. A lot of this weird wood stuff in here. Looks like a what? Was a table. Ah, oh, this is a tripod. Oh, it's newer, is it? The tripod is a bit older. Yeah, it might be. That's interesting. Look at the mount on that. Oh yeah, it's probably for a telescope. Who knows if telescopes in oh, here? Oh, that'd be nice. There is a lot of furniture. Hold your spices. New piggy bank. <laughs> Alright. A lot of this a lot of this thing's kinda heavy. Uh it's furniture. But check out this hiding right behind it. No, not that. <laughs> Frogger on burger time. I don't What's know what the that? heck that is. Oh, it's on the top. Oh, it's Texas. Oh, so that probably goes to that oh. minus mission. And games. And joysticks. Oh, what are the ET games in there? ET game. I, I mean, huh. some people are probably really. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, is this? No, that's TI Invaders. So I think that goes to that like, uh, Texas instrument thing that's in there. And then there's also Atari games that are mixed. Mixed in there. Oh, has the connector. I mean, there's games all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that. Some of these are actually Atari games, like that's that... Atari. I don't see any. Uh... Oh, that's ColecoVision. ColecoVision. Wow. I played this when I was little. <laughs> they all also have the uh, old. Like a yard sale tag. That doesn't that's focus. That's so fun. Doesn't focus. Anyway, it says a dollar. So it probably came from a yard oh, sale back in the 90s. Home run of a hit. I actually have this light that's up there. If it was up to me, I'd just take the whole light bulb out, but I'm not going to ruin this whole facility. I do want to sneak ahead. And after that one, oh, take a gander at whatever's in that box. Knowing my luck with storage units, it's going to be empty, but. I'm so ecstatic that it might be in there. I don't know how I'm going to get to it. Hello? That's garbage. Couch cushion. Yeah, couch cushion. Oh. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. Oh, 
Sounds like I got some cameras on. Sounds like it has some weight to it. Oh, it's still, it sounds like it still has a styrofoam. Oh, sorry. This is $20. Texas Instrument Computer and Games with Mandel. $20. Somewhere. That's not it. Oh, maybe it's underneath it. Yes! It's in there. <laughs> Don't know what that's for. Oh. What? There's one listed on eBay, $275 best offer. Wow. TI-99? Oh, no. <laughs> so we're getting closer and closer to that $100 mark. Hopefully we'll hit it. I don't know if we will. All right, just center screen. We have another beauty of a piece. It looks like a plant stand. Hopefully not plastic. Maybe. Well, it's not plastic. Oh, it's definitely steel. So I say maybe it's cast aluminum, but it's not. It has new screws in it, but that's a nice beauty there. That's going to be like $15, $20. Maybe antique mall, $50. Bucks. Um, but we're almost to our mark. It's, uh, it's amazing. A lot of the stuff in here is kind of like an older era of stuff. It's not really just like new clothes and kids' toys, but we're finding some cool pieces in here. So a nice little plant stand. Or if you're really hungry, you can make it into a cake stand. So hanging out right here in the front is this beauty. Oh, sound design. But it looks destroyed on the top. I feel like it should have a plastic thing that goes over here, but not too much of an expert on this. Cord is also clipped. You should get a new cord, but all right. So like I said, this is gonna be a probably this is gonna be three trips, but we're gonna do two videos. Um in this video, I'm going to want to go through maybe like two of those boxes, three of those boxes, see if the Diesel Thunder is in there. I'm going to round out these uh, garbage bags because these look like the clothes of the unit. Um, and whatever I don't want, I might end up donating. So this one on the right. That one down there is all curtains. But I saw a jacket popping up on top of this one on the left. Right there. Oh, wow, it's got some weight. So we got ourselves a jacket. It's got a name on the back. Eco Lab. All right, so I thought it might be something else. Oh, wow. So at first you might be like, oh, this is just garbage. You got this, which is definitely good. Can you put this in there? That's definitely garbage. But check out that. Eagle Legend, Carson Wentz. This feels like an on-field style jersey. This is all taken oh, you can't even see it. That's all taken off. That's all worn off. This looks pretty legit. I don't know if there's more jerseys in there. It looks like underwear. So for any Eagles fans out there, of course, Carson Wentz goes to what? The Colts? And he's like a legend there now? But check out that. That's actually pretty legit. Doesn't look too legit on camera, but wow, this I can't get this right. Made by Nike. It's just folds out like that, but yeah. Eagles jersey. I don't know what he's worth, but I mean if you're a Colts fan, you probably want it because it's your quarterback. That is a really good find. Nike. This thing looks really legit. The quality, the stitching is really good. Um, this is probably a wow. This is probably an actual, like, not a game used jersey, but one that you buy from the store, not one of the uh, country very, very far away deals. You know what I'm saying? So we got ourselves a vintage one here. We're finding an absolute ton of these old Hanes tees. Another one. Late 70s, early 80s. Made in USA. Another beauty. But that, uh, it's like a little, a little worn in. They find their way. See another Made in USA shirt down here. That's not Made in USA. What the heck did I see? Did I see Made in? Yeah, I saw the Made in USA. It's vintage. <laughs> not for me though. Oh, whole set. Yeah. All right. So we actually just made one whole trip uh, back to the warehouse. 
unloaded pretty much like a quarter of this unit, a third of this unit. So it's going to be three total trips coming back tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to conclude this video with, like I said, a couple boxes here. Um, just so it's not like all furniture, but as you guys see, half of this unit was nothing but furniture. Uh, but I do see like this silver box over there, and now I'm like, ooh, what's in the silver box? Oh, I think it's a game. I thought it was maybe a, a gun case or something. Feels like... Oh, there you go. It's a... You can always count on some dominoes. They even have the uh, the score, and they, have, they kept the pen for it. I don't even know how to play dominoes. If anyone out there knows how to play dominoes, and you like dominoes, drop a comment down below. Scrabble board. Played Scrabble with salsa. She probably has no may words. Alright, got a garbage bag over here. Oh, wow. Check out all this. Maybe all this. Oh, wow. So we got some train stuff. I hope that Rolling Thunder or Thunder, whatever, Diesel Thunder is in there. But that's, I mean, these things aren't that much. This is $12.50. So I assume probably I can get a couple dollars for it. I mean, I don't know if they're really used. Dual crossing gates. This looks like not just a notepad. That's empty. Oh, there you go. Union Pacific. So you got a whole bunch of train stuff in here. Hopefully, I'm telling you, like, I really hope some of these boxes got some more train stuff. Ain't train fans out there? I'm really hoping some of these boxes are filled with good stuff. Um, I would think it's weird if at least some of these aren't filled with a lot of good stuff now we start off with like harley items we got a lot of furniture there were some like reproduction pr primitives and so these things can be a dime a dozen in terms of what's in these but i mean we probably got at least 20 dollars worth of train stuff just in this garbage bag all you need is two or three more boxes one box loaded and it will be looking pretty nice this whole another bag here what the heck James Brown, Star Time. I don't know what this is, a game or four compact disc edition. It does not feel like they're in there. And it's not. Hey, would you look at that? That's a gaming headset. So there's got to be game stuff in here. Not in this. Not in this, though. That's a puzzle. Collecting toys, cars, and trucks. It appears. Antique price guide. So the person probably did collect, or did at least do collectibles. Uh, it's pretty much what this bag is. I think we got another one here. There you go. Matchbox toys, 1974 to 2003. Whole bunch of them. Not matchbox. Not matchbox, but... Uh, a lot of magazines in there. Thirst for my want that. All right, so we got this whole knife set down here. Oh, we're missing one. Would you look at that? Maybe not. I just oh, it's not complete at all. Got ourselves a knife set. Looks fairly used. Whole thing of knives. There used to be a time at auctions where this is all I'd buy. <laughs> Cordon Blue High Carbon. That's literally the name of it, Cordon Blue. This one also Cordon Blue. That one's also, wow, they might be all Cordon Blue. They don't have like the same handles, which kind of throw me for a loop, but. They're probably a set of some sort. That one is not. That one's called J.A. Henkel's International. It's actually a pretty nice set there. I don't know if they really match, but do something with that. 
All right, so I figured for this episode, we'll go through the last boxes that are like right here. That's actually fairly nice. A little stand. What the world is this? This might be an album. Also, check out this cabinet. I believe that's in maple. That is a butte. You can't see it, but that's a glass front. Got the old hardware on there. Uh, Fun fact, that probably actually pays for the unit. I won't get what that thing's worth, but I'll get about half of it. Which is pretty close to what the unit cost. This one has like footprints on it. Uh, it's just a, uh, might be a photo album of some sort. I'll look through that, you can take a gander. Oh. Motorcycles. Oh, wow. All right. Taking John Turner page. Yep. Hold on. So you got all a bunch of... Huh, I guess this was someone's motorcycle. Uh, that's and it. about two pages. All right. If all these boxes are empty, we're in trouble. <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, so it looks like Diesel Thunder has been diesel-y put around, but there seems to be a bunch of cars, engines in there. Yeah, you got some. So I'll have to go through all this. It looks like it was just like mangled, put back in there, but it has some weight. So, good old Diesel Thunder. I wonder what that thing costs retail, but she's in there. I don't know if all of it's in there. Ah. That's a nice pen. Whole box of mystery clothes. Klein tools. Klein tools. Suspender. All sorts of different men's clothes. I got these uh, leather oh, jackets. Christmas present that wasn't open. Christmas present. Oh. What is that? Mason jar. Mason jar, what in it? Is that just paper? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Toilet paper like the cartons? That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like paper towel thing. That's uh, oh, wow. wow. Have to be looked at another day. We got a one jacket here. That has some pins on it, but there's another one in there. This this one's pretty nice. It's an older one up. Oh, gotta flip it over. I've never heard of this brand. It's Park. Park V. Made in USA. Looks like an older one. So, yeah, and then I believe this might be a, a toy cabinet. Oh, wow, we got tools down here and everything. Look at this. Oh, wow, is this a Makita? I think it does. It does. Five inch disc sander. Oh, okay, there you go. Wow. I don't know uh, how... Uh, what was the model number? M923. So if you guys want to check them out on eBay, probably find some. But we got a lot more stuff. We got another sander over here. This one's, a, this one's heavy duty. Wow. What the heck is this brand? Sears. That's a freaking monster and a half. Wow. And all sorts of other stuff hidden behind here. Put that one up here. Okay. Wait, yeah, out. yeah. This has the name, so. Maybe you want to take that I out. I see a whole jar of buttons. It's still over. If I can get it out. Alright. So oh. here's what? No, it's another one of these. Wow. Another decanter. Maybe that's a whole box of them. So we found two of those so far, those decanters. Oh, there's a little bit in it. Have a shot before we go. Yeah, right. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I sold a bunch of decanters this past summer. I thought that whole uh, trend was out of style. I learned very quickly it's still not. Oh, yeah. oh, we got a Harley Davidson something. It's a belt. There's a lot of random Harley Davidson things in here. This could be very good. This is older. Harley Davidson. This looks like for a, a very, rock. very scary dog. I think it's empty. Oh no, is 
this? Oh no, I thought maybe it was like for the back of the motorcycle. It's not though. It's kind of hard to see in here. Maybe tomorrow's video? That's like some lace. It's not. Oh, it's like a lot of cords. There's yeah, a lot of cords at the bottom. But so far we did pretty well with this unit. Like I said, there is a lot more boxes here. I can't do this all in one video. This video would be like four hours long. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. We'll do a part two, either tomorrow or the next day, uh, depending on what you guys want to see. And uh, I don't know if I'll do a part three, even though there's a lot here. But the next video, we'll definitely go through a lot of these boxes. As you guys see, there's not really that much furniture left. Uh, gonna pack up here for the second trip and then hopefully everything can go back in one more trip and I'll be done with but this is kind of a crazy unit for only a hundred dollars you know I was talking to good old paper moose right here and uh, we were talking about what it would go for if it was at an actual facility and in person. in person now if all this stuff wasn't here and you saw all these boxes I you know just the boxes alone I would guess at least 200 250 with all the other stuff there. And if you still saw this, you're probably looking at 350 or 400 um, But having it covered up, I think, kind of took away a little bit of the value. But it, like anyone says, like if you had this in person, it would not go for $100. There's just way too much inventory here and way too much of a mystery. So I think it was a good deal. Stay tuned for the next video. There will be a lot more unboxing here. As you guys see, we have everything kind of sorted out. I didn't show too much of the oh, didn't show too much of the van itself. There's also all this wonderful merchandise here. And like I said, there's already been one trip. This is the second trip. Don't know if these are brass, silver plate, sterling silver. I don't think they're any of that. But we do not know as of right now. I'll have to look at these, see if there's a name on them. They are very nice, almost mid-century-esque. That's interesting how they would have that to decide, but still another fun day. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see more, definitely subscribe down below. Check out her channel because she'll be doing a couple unboxings also. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to do all this by myself. Um, I'll put a link down below. And yep, that'll wrap it up here for today's adventure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Smack the like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, well, I'll catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into until next time. Have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.